After aborted Wagner mutiny, China maintains support for Russia. Despite the Wagner gang of heavily armed mercenaries staging a brief rebellion on Saturday, China is still backing Russia. After more than two decades in office, Vladimir Putin faced one of his largest challenges from that. Following the failed insurrection, Andrei Rodenko, the deputy foreign minister of Russia, met with Chinese officials on Sunday to address international matters. According to the ministry, China expressed support for Russia's leadership to maintain country stability following Saturday's events. Andrei Rodenko, the deputy foreign minister of Russia, and Qin Gang, the foreign minister of China, conducted discussions about Sino-Russian ties and international and regional issues of common concern. Later, it was said that China supports Russia in preserving its sense of national stability and that the recent rise in tensions in Russia was due to internal affairs in that country. Unknown was Rodenko's exact arrival time in Beijing as well as if his trip to China, a significant Russian ally, was in response to the ostensible uprising headed by mercenary commander Yevgeny Prigozhin. In exchange for withdrawing his soldiers back to base and going to Belarus, Prigozhin was saved from criminal prosecution, and the mutiny ended on Saturday. While the insurrection was taking place, Chinese leaders kept a conspicuous silence. However, the state-run Global Times in China claimed on Saturday that by exaggerating Prigozhin's mutiny and creating an illusion, Russia is concealing several internal inconsistencies. Furthermore, the most recent attack on Russian social cohesion was the claim that the building is collapsing, which was made by Western media. On social media, Putin received a lot of support from Chinese folks. The area around Moscow is peaceful, the Chinese embassy in Russia said on Saturday to the Chinese media source Southern Metropolis Daily. Western officials, like American President Joe Biden, indicated they were closely following the situation in the meanwhile. Prigozhin claimed that the goal of his march on Moscow was to depose the dishonest and inept leaders who he holds responsible for the failure of the Ukrainian conflict. The military command in Rostov-on-Don, a metropolis of more than a million people, was taken over by Wagner forces on Saturday. They then marched swiftly hundreds of kilometers north toward their capital without encountering any significant opposition. The Kremlin appeared helpless for many anxious hours as Wagner convoys passed into Russia, destroying sporadic barriers and shooting down military planes dispatched to stop them. Hours later, however, the Russian president pardoned Prigozhin on the condition that he enter exile in Belarus. While the Kremlin attempted to portray the agreement as a clever maneuver that prevented an impending slaughter. It was a surprising concession for a guy who has consistently repressed any indication of dissent and occasionally used violence to muzzle opponents who dare to oppose him.